this on the left is my sword in Orion and measure third uh I mean excuse me forty two right here's the measure forty two this is done with the Rossa telescope maybe we can cut the glare but see I I reduced the brightness of these stars. I got the running man up there, and then I got sort of barely resolved a little bit the trapezium or where it is in that are lighting up the nebula there. Off, also, here's um, measure one, the Crab Nebula. I took it with a big sensor, but you can see some of the model look of different filamentary details and colors. And here's my orange and maybe my best so far, measure 51. The interacting galactic sparrows done with the rocks of and then one time I was over at the observatory and I recorded a face. There's either I think two stars or the eyes, maybe Gemini, Pollux and Castor, and then the smile is the moon. I outlined it. Then here's my horse head nebula image. It was something I kind of like. I took an image here of uh, Alan Attack. It goes Alan Attack, Alan Lamb, and Mentica. Here's the flame nebula at the bottom and then here's this one it's been oversaturated a little bit where i turned up the color saturation a lot and here's the reflection nebula and maybe it suffered a little bit of lossy imaging or un, un under sampled a little bit but i like it i think it's neat Sort of an example. And then here's the Aurora we had on the back of my Nikon D5 back in May 10th of this year, 2024. And then a Crescent Moon. Another Horsehead Nebula image with the reflection and on the tech and the flame nebula also done on the rasa here's one done on the red cat a different scope than the rasa and it provided wide field of view on ngc 7000 north american nebula the colors might not be totally calibrated or natural color but you can see here is Mexico and there is Florida and the America and Cal Can Canada up there and over here you can see a little bit of <clears throat> the Pelican Nebula I think this is I see 50, 70, or 60, or 90, or something, and it's got an NGC number also. The bell of the pelican is here, and the neck curves around there. And then it has some bright stars there. I'll go ahead and open my Facebook account. This is my Pillars of creation. You can see the big pillar here, the one in between the smaller pillar.
Here's the main I took and compared it with the professional image. Here's Messier 13, the globular cluster. This is my Facebook page. And here's the annotator that I told. This is the main on the Aurora Borealis page. Here's my Orion constellation. This is back when Eagle Nebula was washed out in moonlight. It was a full moon in that region. And I didn't have a filter on either of the two times. And this is actually the moon behind my face when I took it with my cell phone and some moon images. This is the cloud. These are the clouds that were out through my car the other day. This is my first observatory in Michigan. I have had two observatories now. This is Messier 51. And then there's the moon on the left and some other. That's the Eagle Nebula. This is the moon that was out full moon and I showed that I could still get measure 51 on that same night without any filter in a different part of the sky but had it been in the same part of the sky that same with the same no filter and the rasa and everything this would be more washed out it was about 90 minutes uh, not 90 degrees or something off a little bit in the sky. Here's my with the moon Ju so Jupiter the uh, Jupiter and now the video card has to run I overtaxed my computer but don't worry it's coming back to the east might have to do it another And then here's the Pleiades. I guess I could rewind that and show the Pleiades there. Ravon there or whatever. But here's Jupiter with the moons. It says Earth is wobbling and days are getting longer and humans are to blame. Ice in space. There's some other thing. What mathematical some different numbers. I did I used my graphing calculator and I stated some stuff. Mushroom and then the full moon from my S23 Ultra. Um, this is a moon movie, but oh, it was done with my um, Edge HD 8 inch, which maybe isn't performing for whatever reason. Maybe I just need to use it the right camera and the right back focus and different things and the right maybe adapter for but I was hoping to try to use my T2 with my Edge HD 8 inch to use it to take um, maybe movies with with the 640 by 40 crop of maybe Measure 57, the Ring Nebula, and and some other good things like Saturn or Jupiter with it like that. Here I am. Here's my image. 
It's a pretty good high detailed image of me with I'm getting gray in my beard. You can see the gray in my beard. And then here's quantum computing You're talking about supremacy and artificial and um, sun generated with a magnetic field clearing the path for fusion and different articles there. Here's the Paris, Illinois courthouse. Here's how I'm supposed to be related to Edgar Allan Poe. Here's a scientist make super ionic battery technology breakthrough that could transform EV industry. Herbert W. Armstrong. Here's the biggest speaker in the world, maybe in Measure 13. And here's Measure 101. And the acquisition and processing. You can click and enlarge it a little bit. Measure 101. I think it's the pin wheel. One of the pin wheels. We've got better internet now as long as it still stays there. When it, yeah, it's symmetrical upload and download gig each. Here's my Measure 57 Ring Nebula image. Here's Saturn. I got Saturn this one more. You can see the ring playing out there. Here's my still image of it. Here's the time lapse of the sun setting and rewound it. See, the moon. Here's my better colored uh, this is a movie taken of measure 51 I got in some ways prettier colors they were sort of I stretched the H up a detail I might need to take more integration time and then stretch the H up a bit more. here's the moon the main some more secret images. Christopher Columbus. Kawasaki. <laughs> Here's a six a five million ISO camera. It's even better than the ME20F-SH. It's got the name of Canon X27. Bob Ballard and Titanic, the Pleiades and the Trees. This is my Facebook account. Here's Andromeda Galaxy. Some of Andromeda Galaxy, some stills, some Earthshine side of the moon. Here's a 
movie of the earth showing the side of the moon here's my ross at night out at where it is here in indiana northern indiana and that's your 51 it's in the sun this is io most unbelievable io internet speed testing earth shine side of the moon Robert Earl Hughes Freddy Fender Here's another view of the Red Cat and NGC 7000 it's a redder view of it, but it's dark, darkly exposed. Here's the earth shine side and the crescent moon and the Pleiades there. I took this photo. The moon chipmunk and stuff in the moon. Here's Mars. Here's a solar with a sunspot. It's making my video card go haywire again. Might have to do it one more time. Here's Crescent Venus. Here's Saturn. My good Saturn image. Saturn movies got horse head different horse head ones the Pleiades and Comet Comet Love Joy Here's the moon another moon another full moon here's the big dipper Measure 57 from a video camera there was a insect on the screen back then here's another one Measure 57 the ring of Measure 57 some of those who knows if those were mosquitoes Here's my Rasa eleven inch, my second Rasa with the dew heater guy. Moon above the tree, earth shine side of the moon. Here's my Andromeda poster. I start again. Here's the Big Dipper above our home. The moon out there. The moon. 
man some lightning photography you can see the lightning there see the lightning in there here's measure one oh one i mean measure 101 a different view of it some of them this one i took with my 5 dsr but the ones where it looked bluer and purpler i took with my nikon d5 see i specified or so i thought but maybe it says it's done with the 5 dsr also if it was then i use different processing techniques didn't always when you tree exploding the main some of these are with the edge hd which i picked 8 inch which i picked up in may of this year you can see the main it took here that was done with a schmidt cassegrain telescope and apparently using my s23 i have an s22 ultra also my dad already passed away max c williams and martha my mom is still alive, but she has a place. They, they both would be buried eventually out at the Bremen Municipal Cemetery. See, here's my mom. Here's my mom at the observatory. And I see it. Good moment. See her. See, there. And then here's the Pleiades with PGC 36, uh, 13696 or something like that. I guess it's difficult for me to remember those PGC numbers. Here's the moon in a fog with the tree sticking with the Nikon D5. Here's where we are. I've got to draw this one to a close. It's taking. Some more lightning. Jazzy the dog. Beetle juice. And some astro photos there's measure one i'll stop this now and post this